Hi guys, uh, today's session uh, we will discuss about solve before question. Actually, uh, one of our viewer want to know uh, that uh, what is solve before question. So I am making uh, this session, right? So uh, first of all, we need to understand what is constants. If you are not familiar with that term, the what is constants and uh, what is randomization and mean of rand or rand c. So I will uh, share some uh, link in my description. So first of all, you need to clear that concept to understand this session, right? So let's start with solve before constant. Actually, the constants are in bidirectional in nature, means they will affect each other values, right? So let's see uh, some practical example of that. Let's say some class packet. and bit x <coughs> rand bit let us say some bit 3 down to 0 and it is by and let us have some constants uh, let us say name is c1 and x double is equal to high at sorry at by double is equal to zero semicolon that's it so what is the mean of that we are putting some constant on these two variables x and y and the constant name is c1 right and we are telling if the value of x is high that if the value of x is 1 so on that time y should be 0 right so let me explain it so the value of y will be in range from 0 to 15 right 2 raised to the power 4 that is 16 so 0 to 15 is total number of 16 so to get 0 So, the probability to get 0 of by is very less, right? Hence, it will affect the value of x means if <coughs> the value of y is not equal to 0 then the value of x leads to 0 right so let us write some top motive because as we can see the x is a single bit variable and y is a 4 bit variable so there are total number of combination is 16 2 raised to the power 4 that is 16 and if we are calculating the probability for 0 that will be 1 by 16 right so the probability is very less to get 0 so because due to bidirectional nature it may affect the value of x so let us write some uh, top module
make some handle memory allocation for that let's say repeat file begin and packet dot randomize dollar display to print the values so x is equal to percentile d y is equal to percentile d pkt dot x pkt dot y right so uh, we have first of all we made the handle of that class class name is as we can see packet so we write here packet and the handle name is pkt after that the memory allocation for packet using new keyword after that using new function after that repeat five we are repeating uh, this loop five times right so the packet will be randomized five times and it will give five random values so let's check this code So as we can see the value of y is every time changes but value of x remains 0 as we described over here right x leads to 0. So let us do it on 10 times and after that we will see whether the value of x is coming to 1 or not. Yes, we can see over here it displays the value up to 10 times because the packet is randomizing 10 times but the value of x is not going to 1. Let us do it on 15 times. No. Okay, do it on 20 times. Okay, let's do it on 50 times and see. Yes, as you can see here x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 because we write the constant over here. So when the value of x is high, y should follow the constant, it will be 0. As you can see x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. But the probability of x to be 1 is very very less, right. So to avoid this thing, what we can do is in same code. using solve for constraints. So only we have to add only one line. Constraint, <coughs> uh, let us give uh, some C2 name, 
c underscore 2 after that braces inside braces sol x before by right only this line is change this is one additional line in case of solve before constraint right let's run this code again and see what happens and there is no need to go up to 50 times let's check for only five times yes you can see only in five times now the value of x is coming to one x is equal to one x is equal to one and at both time the y will be zero so you can see the what is the use of solve before a question right so guys if you have any doubt or confusion please make a comment thank you